Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to install multiple Bedrock add-ons on your server. Now before we begin, I'd like to mention that this video will build upon our previous video that shows how to install add-ons on a server. This video will not go into detail on how to install add-ons, but simply to show how to install multiple ones on one server. If you'd like to see a more detailed video on how to install Bedrock add-ons, go watch the other video which is more detailed. We'll leave the link in the description. Now I've already downloaded two add-ons that I'd like to install on my server. I've downloaded them from the mcpdl.com website which you can find in the description. I also have a Bedrock server set up with the correct version. Again, if you need more info on this, watch our previous video. I've also checked that all my add-ons will be compatible with the server version, so please do the same and double check that your add-ons are the correct version. If they're not, they will conflict with the server version and not work correctly. I'd like to mention that some add-ons may not be compatible with each other at all. Unfortunately, unless you know how to code, there's not much you can do about this which means you won't be able to use the add-ons together. One of the ways to check if an add-on will not be compatible with another is to open it with an archive software like WinRAR or 7-Zip. As you can see here, I have opened two add-ons side by side with different folders inside them. Each different file inside these folders means that the add-ons are manipulating them and adjusting things. If two add-ons are changing and adjusting the same files as you can see here, that means they will not be compatible. One or both will simply not work. That's something to watch out for before you add the add-ons onto your server. Firstly, go to your control panel and into the files tab. Here you'll see the behavior underscore packs and resource underscore packs folders. Before dragging the appropriate files into these folders, you'll need to extract the add-ons. So if the extension is either MC pack or MC add-on, you need to right click on them and open with 7-zip or when raw. From there, select extract and then choose a the location you want to extract to and press OK. Afterwards, go to the place where the add-on was extracted to and as you can see, the MC pack or MC add-on is now a folder. Quickly open it to make sure that the folders inside are similar to the ones you see here. If it only has one folder inside, you'll need to extract it again to get the correct files inside. This is because if there are folders within folders, when you upload it to the server, the add-ons will not work. So just make sure that whichever add-on folder you upload to the server, it has similar files to these. After you made sure that everything is correct, you can now upload the behavior pack add-ons into the behavior packs folder on your server like so. All you need to do is drag and drop it. Make sure you do that for all your behavior pack add-ons. I'll be uploading both of mine. If your add-ons also have the resource pack files, make sure you do exactly the same and extract those too. Mine do have the resource pack files, so I'll go ahead and extract it to make it a folder. Then on the server, go back into the files tab and make sure to go into the resource packs folder. Here, upload the resource pack folders we just extracted by dragging and dropping them like so. Now that we've uploaded the add-ons onto the server, we must now create a couple necessary files to actually install them. This is a very important step and you must not miss this. So back on the files tab, open the worlds folder and then open the world folder where you want the add-ons to be installed. All you have to do now is create a new file by pressing create new in the top right. For the file name, make sure it says world underscore behavior underscore packs dot json. And inside the body of that file, you'll need to paste this text in. We will leave this text in the description for you to copy. Make sure that the format the text is exactly the same and then you can press create file at the bottom. Now we need to create another file that's similar but for resource packs. So click on create file again and name it world underscore resource underscore packs dot json and in the body of the file paste the same text that's in the description. Again when you've done that press create file near the bottom. Now that that's done we need to make sure that they are filled in correctly. The easiest way to edit and fill in these files that we created is to copy the info from another file. What you should do is right click on your browser tab and duplicate it. Then make two windows like so by clicking and dragging one tab out and to the side. Then in one window open the world behavior packs json file. We'll fill this one in first. In the other window go back to the main files tab then into the behavior packs folder. Next open one of the add-on folders you just uploaded. There you'll see a file called manifest.json. Find the line that says uuid and copy and paste it into the new world behavior packs json file we just created like so then copy the version number as well you should then repeat the step for other add-ons firstly go back and open another add-on folder and it's manifest.json file 
from here, you need to copy and paste this block of text and put a comma here. Your format should look exactly like this. Make sure there's no comma on the last block of text. If you have more add-ons, simply repeat this process until you add all of them. Don't forget the commas except from the last block. Save the file and now we need to do the same with the World Resource Packs JSON file. So on one window, open the World Resource Packs JSON file. On another, go to the Resource Packs folder in the main directory. Then again, simply follow the same process by opening the add-ons and finding the manifest JSON file. Again, just copy the UUID and version number over to the World Resource Packs JSON file. Do this for all the add-on resource pack files as well. Make sure you don't skip any, otherwise this won't work. Then save the world resource packs JSON file and turn on the server. You're now ready to go and test the add-ons. Once you started the server, you can check that it's fully booted up by going into the console tab. It should say server started and no errors are shown. Afterwards, open Minecraft and add a server like so. Now from your control panel, copy the hostname and paste it into the server's address field and make sure you don't forget the port. Then save the file and finally connect to it. When the world's finished generating, as you can see, I now have multiple add-ons working on the server. If for some reason your add-ons are not showing, it might be because you missed a step, so make sure to go back and refollow them. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.